let's look at adding information in JAMA. You can add items in JAMA manually, by importing, or by reusing an existing item. Here, we'll show you how to add items manually. In the location where you need to create an item, select a set and click the Add button. An item editor opens so you can start adding information. Now enter a name and description for the new item. The Description field's Rich Text Editor lets you add diagrams, images, hyperlinks, tables, and other fancy formatting. Plus, if your JAMA administrator has set them up, you can use different kinds of templates for different types of items. Your JAMA administrator gets to say what information is available or required for each type of item. In this example, we see the name, the description, who it's assigned to, and its priority. After you add everything, you can save the item. You can edit the item with the Set It button. Now, let's see how JAMA tracks changes in versions. When you edit an item, JAMA creates a new version of it. Only one person can edit an item at a time, so you can't write over someone else's work. Each item has a Versions tab where you can view and compare versions. I'll show you. I click Edit, add some information here, and delete some there, save and close. Now when I click on the Versions tab, we can see the new version and the old version. To see what's changed from the Versions tab, select the versions you want to compare and click Compare. A larger window opens where you can show details to see exactly what changed. Information removed is lined through and highlighted in red. Added information is highlighted in green. To keep an eye on changes, you can subscribe to an item. Click Actions, then select Subscribe. Whenever someone edits it, you'll get an email notification. That way, you can stay on top of changes and see when other parts of the project are impacted. To help you deal with a large number of items in a project, JAMA lets you work with multiple items at once. There are lots of ways to do this, but as you can see, something like updating the priority and status of several items at once can be done really quickly. Now, go out there and start building items. And if you get stuck, you can use the online help, support community, or e-learning.